Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We're playing a Formicid Ice Elementalist of Gyriados for the Crawl 0 0.18 release tournament. And we just finished up the dungeon, and we're going to head to, I believe, we decided on Snake. Didn't I have something with invisibility on it? Ah, that other mace. So, if I were to train evocations... I could use that and like taking it into shoals. Invisibility, pretty good in shoals, right? Mm -hmm. Just a thought. Um, we could maybe use Snake as an opportunity to get that training. But right now, there's some other stuff I'd rather train. Uh, Passwall, uh, at first glance, it seems a little silly to use as a former kid who can just go through walls by digging. Um, but uh, Passwall A is faster, and B closes the door behind you, so monsters can't can't follow you. So it's it's a good like it's better for escaping. We're going to want to use both of them really, uh, but we what is all this crap I'm carrying? Get the wand of flame, ice blast. I don't know. Keep ice blast. It sort of saved my life once. Uh, Book of Minor Magic, at least. All this terrible food. Why am I carrying this crap? There we go. Um, I was like, take some of these off auto pickup. Like, um, what am I still carrying? All right, fruit, pizza, and meat are what we're taking off, I guess. H E F. There we go. Uh, as I was saying, we're gonna want to. Oh, we didn't finish layer one. I forgot. We shafted ourselves here. So here's some more experience that shouldn't be any trouble to get. Um, we're gonna want to use both pass wall and digging, uh, but they're for different things, right? Digging is for crafting a whole the right shape that you want monsters to follow you through. Uh, and pass wall is when you don't want monsters to follow you at all, when you need to run away. All right, let's, let's go back to the plan of snake. Yeah, see, in melee, of course, we can absolutely ruin any of these guys. But that's, of course, like, just how Kybriados works. In melee, you are unstoppable. Uh, and Formicid, too, really. The same thing. Yeah. Wow, good work, Mr. Zombie. Actually killed one of them. Um, and so the trick in places like Snake is to arrange for uh, combat scenarios that are um, that are like th that let you take advantage of your strengths and not your weaknesses, which mostly means kill holes. <laughs> Fancy way of saying cheats. Uh, I should have put up uh, armor here. Repel missiles keeps falling off. I need like a little training on that. I think pass wall is fine. We can turn off earth magic now. Um, let's just pick out a little more charms or something. I don't know. I hate sharpshooters. They're the worst. Shields up to seven. It's fine with me. Now we'll just litter this place with little tiny kill holes. There's the armor, fire a shield, finally, one that. You know, if we hadn't already acquired one, we could use that. But uh, of course, we have already acquired one, and ours is better. 
Right, it's just like plus four or something. Oh, it's plus zero shield of protection. That's right. So, I mean, it doesn't necessarily just mean kill holes. Like, you can you can take advantage of your strengths out in the open uh, with, you know, with summons or whatever. Just avoid getting cornered. Make sure that the inability to run away isn't that big a deal in whatever way you do that. Up here, guys. Just kill this Black Mamba zombie. Uh, I guess we'll just eat something. Yeah, Elliptic is level 25 now, so he's... I mean, we all we always knew it was true, but uh, once again, we're not going to finish first. Um, but that really doesn't matter. There's there's no bonus points for finishing. Well, again, like I don't the points don't matter uh, here. By bonus points, I meant like just in the rhetorical, not rhetorical um, idiom. Oh, I should put on my ring of poison resistance actually. And I'm going to quaff curing because I don't like the amount of poison I've got right now. All right. Didn't really need to, but yeah, that's my only poison resistance. Uh, I really uh, should have that on in Snake. Uh, it doesn't make us invincible or anything, and we're still uh, susceptible to electricity, which is a as big a threat as poison, really. In snake. Ooh, what is this all about? An Aquab plant? Oh, they got lost. Alright. Yeah, surprise, Black Mamba. There's an ant, giant ant man digging his way out of the wall behind you. Yeah, I would really appreciate some better armor, too. I mean, I've said this a lot of times, but uh, let's not let's not just approach that, huh? This is sort of like the Formicid way of life: it is just living in a tiny little hole. People who hate you are coming in all the time, and uh, and that's just like the plan. You, you want things that way. Anytime you're out in the open, like I don't know, formic formicids are like agoraphobic, aren't they? They. Ugh. I really don't like where I am right now because he can bounce zaps off of me or off the wall and hit me twice. So I slowed him down. It's fine. Uh, enchant armor is good. Might I want to buy immediately? Okay. Enchant armor. Uh, I don't really have anything to use on right now. Are we still training mazes and flails? No, we took a break to work on shields. Fine. I don't like shock serpents one bit. They do so much damage. And it's like a resist that you don't really think about most of the time. So you don't really notice that you're missing it when you get to snake. I don't anyway. Fetch, go get him.
All right, we'll leave this aqua plant alone, I guess. Don't need that altar. Let's just head downstairs. Oh, uh, glorious, it's Vashnia. I don't want to mess with her at all. Yeah, she has Blink Other, but won't work on me. But she's still, like, real scary. And everything in here is so slow that you can't really slouch it very effectively. I'll just go try some more stairs before something bad happens to me. I shouldn't go towards them. Bad play, bad play. Let's dig in this way. Ah! Like that? I guess it's fine. It's not ideal. Uh, none of that is edible. All right, let's just eat some meat. Me twice there. That's nasty. All right, we got him though. Regen helps a lot with these kill hole situations, where the amount of damage you're taking over time is like not that much per turn, but it just goes on forever because there are so many monsters closing in on your position. Um, and you can use regen to sort of sustain through it. Whatever, I guess I'll pick up digging. This is like a lot of stuff. Let's, let's back up and dig in. Let our zombies distract them. For a little while and then uh, okay shields uh, are at eight nine so we can leave them alone charms was i just working on charms for regen or is there some other charm oh repel missiles that's right hmm. feels fine at seven and a half uh invo and evo and dodging my dodging is embarrassingly low for a kai guy in leather. I should really have more dodging than this. It's, uh, I think it's just like more exciting to like train attack abilities and so on. Uh, and so like, I, for, you know, dodging just sort of gets delayed. It's like, of course, I'm a Kai guy. I have a ton of dodging. I don't have to worry about it, but you do. You don't just get a ton of dodging. You have to actually put points into it. Uh, this is like a lot of stuff. Let's make more summons. Three sharpshooters is way too many. <sighs> Let's just temporal distortion. It didn't really help, did it? Meanwhile, all my stupid ice beasts are walking northwest because there's a bug in like how, where your summons think you are while you're in the middle of temporal distortion. All right, well, we got a few monsters adjacent to us, which was the idea. Three sharpshooters. It's like a great spot to hit him with an Ice Blast, but my Evo is zero, so it's not really going to do much. I can step northwest right into the um, into the center of all this and then hit them all with a slow. 
but walking while all this is next to me and voluntarily standing next to it all worries me. Uh, it also reduces my MP so that I don't have access to step from time as easily. But I think I can always shaft somewhat comfortably, so I think I want to do that. The Naga Sharpshooter easily resists, but none of the others did. Hmm. All right. Not that easy, I guess. Repel missiles should stay up as much as possible here. Regen, please. Yes. Let's kill the Black Mamba, I guess. Sure. All right, we got him. A bit scary, and repel missiles fell off again. Oh, that might have been Vashnia's pack, I wonder. It was up northwest, and she's apparently south, so it might not be, which would be real bad news, because it would mean there's more sharpshooters uh, on the way. I'm just going to try walking away and see if she goes a different direction and doesn't notice me. It looks like that happened, so that's cool. There's a shaft we could use, even. We don't even have to dig our own. Did I memorize Apportation? I didn't, because I didn't have the book available. I had to buy it. Yeah. We'll just dig in here. And, uh... Chow down on all these lovely, lovely snakes. Take it easy, guys. Kyriotis is motto. I mean, we should be fine in here, right? Uh... More int? Yeah. We're not casting a lot now, but I want to eventually. And we're sort of already at more than we need of everything else. All right, Vashnia at close range with no blinking available to her is not that big a deal, I think. Let's slow her, though. What was I thinking? She resists. There we go. We got her. We got her slowed anyway. Soon we'll have her killed, I hope. It's been a long time since I fought Vashnia, hasn't it? When did I last kill Vashnia? I normally just run the heck away from her. 2015-07. Ten months. Ten months have gone by since I last fought and killed Vashnia. Um, now, perhaps I fought her, uh, and didn't kill her in between then. I know she's never killed me, but, like, I might have fought her and then given up and run away or something. So, uh, but anyway, that should just tell you, like, I play a fair bit of Crawl, uh, and the fact that I haven't fought her for ten months, it's like, uh... I guess it's just saying how I respect her and do not wish to fight her. <laughs> because I've had opportunities to do so, but it's not really an opportunity in so many words. No, I do not wish you all to be adjacent to me, please. Well, that didn't work at all. The only one I wanted to stay adjacent is the one who moved. Uh, we could use the blade here, I suppose, if we wanted to. It doesn't really seem that good. I think it was a Guardian Serpent. Yeah, just regen, put down some Ice Beasts, and we got him. An Amulet! We're still not wearing one. Amulet of Reflection! That's great with a shield! That's great! Mm. 
Mm, sack of spiders, sure. It's not very efficient now, or effective rather. I was gonna like wait for that guy to wake up and then instantly um, slouch him, but he never did wake up, so I just bopped him on the head. I just don't want this ring. See ya. Good work getting uh, ice beasts. Yeah, we have a, we have a lot of the good spells, you know, good like uh, introductory level spells available. Uh, this game, and as a Kai Briados worshiper, we're gonna want more than that eventually. But I think I'm fine with where we are in terms of spell ability right now. Which is why I'm just working on fighting and dodging. How much enchant weapon do we have? Three. And we, ooh. No, don't stand there, please. Thank you. Ow! All right, let's slouch him. I don't, I don't like this at all. Slouch him again. There we go. Uh, ice beasts. I'm just like exposed right now. That's the problem. I can't really get away from a greater naga. Um, yeah, I think some ice beasts to uh block him. Yeah, and in fact, just kill him. Oh, I should have eaten this shock serpent instead of uh, some bread, but it doesn't matter much. Let's drop uh, digging. I have one is like more than enough for a pharmacid, really. Steaming ring mail. Whoops. There it is. I'll try it. Terrible. I mean, a lot of... It would have to be pretty good to convince me to wear it, because the main benefit right now of the armor we're wearing is that it's light enough we can cast Azakubus. And Ringmail is not that light, uh, so we would lose Azakubus. And we wouldn't gain that much armor, unless it was like plus nine ring mail or something, which is like pretty good. Then I would consider it. All right, uh, do we do snake four or do we like head out to shoals or something? Speaking of shoals, I was talking about getting my evocations up for invisibility, but then I didn't do it. Let's turn off fighting for now and work on evocations. And stealth? Yeah. I'm just going to go downstairs to Snake 4. All right, this is not a perfect kill hole. I was going to say I don't want to dig here because I'm worried there might be a wall this way. And then I dug here, which like doesn't make much sense. I don't know what I was thinking. I do know what I was thinking, but it was dumb. So there you go. Let's dig this way now. <laughs> now still only one of them can see us. Oh, we reflect on them. Oh, it's glorious. Yeah, the reflection is great. I don't want to auto explore here. I can't help it, <laughs> apparently. Mm, yeah, we're still using all these spells, except Akima's Dance, which we forgot to use at all. Yeah, it's like, why did I even learn it? I don't know. Yeah, and we're making them shoot themselves with our big old shield and reflection and all that. Yeah, 
Yeah, these guys are killing us. Killing themselves without us even needing to hit them anymore, which is great. Uh, what is this? This, uh... Is, I don't know, it's suspicious over here for some reason. I don't know where the vault is. But I just saw there was a bunch of monsters over here and thought, maybe this is it. Doesn't look like it, though. Let's, let's get into the wall a little bit here. Nothing, uh, they're not presenting any real threat right now where they are. So I don't see any real need to back off. All right. A new amulet. Uh, my current amulet I'm quite happy with. So I'm probably not switching here. Amulet of Faith. Nope. We lose a little piety. Who cares? We can get it back in no time. Potion of Might. There's been a lot of these. You know, having 28 strength and then a potion of might, pretty good. Pretty good damage, I think. So we can use that for troublesome fights. All right, here's a bunch of uh, stone. Yeah, so the vault uh, must be in here. Let's go uh, find. Uh, here we go. This is our spot. It's not great, but we can make it work as long as we don't advance too far forward. Sorry, I'm just like, uh, I'm lost in a, a crawl trance of like, I've been playing so much the last couple days. Um, like I said, I rarely, rarely finish a game in a single day. Um, and in the last, I started the last character last night and uh, actually just under 24 hours ago, I started that last character. So we're not going to finish two characters in 24 hours, but, uh, you know, two characters in 30 hours, probably. Um, less, of course, actual playtime. Uh, substantially less. But still a lot of crawl compared to what I'm used to doing in a, in a single weekend. <laughs> And the tournament goes for two weeks, but I just I wanted to like dive in and get get going. I don't know, it's, it's fun. I was looking forward to it, doing some nem choices, and uh, it's it is fun. It's just exhausting. Uh, so my commentary is beginning to suffer, <laughs> beginning to show signs of wear. Um, yeah, let's make some nice beasts here as well. We have like something that's... Hello? I'm here? What's up? What's going on? Why is he not coming? There it is. This is kind of like a kill hole, except that we can actually get summons involved as well. So it's sort of better, except that it's more fragile. Monsters could like sneak by. Uh, my armor has been reduced here. All right, guys, all right, you, you can fight. It's fine. I told them to run away, so get out of my way. But uh, I want them to come back and actually fight now. Stealth is level six. That seems fine. The dead are slithering. What is this? I don't recognize this vault, I don't think. Oh yeah, I do. It's just, okay. I don't know what it's called or anything, but I've seen it before, and that's 
what I meant by recognize. Kill the guardian serpents who are just blinking all kinds of nonsense on top of us. Uh, and we could even slouch them, I suppose. Doesn't seem that important. Did another guardian serpent just do that, or did these guys walk up? Yeah. The Naga blinked on top of me. There's another guardian serpent somewhere, apparently. E, he's up there. All right, this is like too much stuff to fight at once. I could handle like these five monsters, I think, but there's just so many more coming that we're going to run out of fuel if I try to just push through all this. So where do we retreat to? And how? The obvious thing is temporal distortion to force the Naga to let go of me, but it doesn't really help. I don't know. Uh, like I'd still be stuck right here and there'd be several monsters nearby and I couldn't go anywhere very good. I guess it would be fine. Uh, and then I could like start swapping places with some of my zombies, leave them behind to cover my retreat. I also have Step From Time available, but doing it right in front of this vault like, is not going to lead to good things happening when I get back. There'll still be monsters here. Some kind of monsters. Uh, what else is an option? I could just slouch a bunch of stuff. Doesn't seem very good. I could use Blade. That's an interesting idea. Draw the Blade card. That could be pretty good, honestly. If he's going to keep blinking stuff around me, let's just uh, mace cleave all of it. Yeah, sure. I'm kind of in a situation where it's hard to get out of being surrounded, and so uh, let's just uh, commit. I mean, not commit exactly. I don't. I'm still willing to run away if I have to. Um, but yeah, so we hit the Naga, we hit the Warrior, we miss the Naga and the Anaconda, and our allies are coming in to fill in the, the space left by, by fallen foes. But uh, yeah, that the Guardian Serpent is keeping, keeping me fueled up on bad guys, which is like, not great, uh, but not as bad as it usually is. I think we're going to have to... We're going to have to abandon this attempt here. This is not how things should go. This is too much stuff. Um, how do we do that? Wow, look at all this stuff. Jeez, what have I done? Uh, I should have drunk Might, actually, as well. That would help a lot. Ah! All right, heal wounds. We've got a lot of heal wounds. It's not working. It is not working. All right, step from time. Get out of here. They're all still here. They're all still here, guys. OK. OK. Bad news. Bad, bad, bad. What else do I have? I have a lot of heal wounds, but I'm just too exposed. Like I don't, I don't know how that's going to improve things. I have to do it. It is sort of improving things. There's only a few monsters here, not as many as there were before. And we're still mighty and cleaving. So that's something. Now we have some time to attack. We could even slow these guys. I'm not sure that that's that productive, though. The problem is I have to get out of this position was the point of using that step, right? 
is to get out of the location I am in. I guess we're at a position now where we should be using an agility. We sort of have a little bit of wiggle room to do that kind of thing with, right? And it'll avoid a lot of damage in the future, since we're apparently going to be stuck like this for a fair while. Let's um, let's heal again. Okay. I'm quite poisoned, so let's cure out of that. Mm-hmm. Let's step northeast. Let's try to get out of view of the doorway. And east. There we go. Regen. Should have done that a while ago. Ow. Heal. Hmm. Do I heal? Yeah, now's a good time to heal. Okay. We're doing a lot of damage. It's just like we can't go on like this forever, can we? We sort of got into a location, though, where perhaps a step from time would address the situation. Oh, and we're not cleaving anymore. That's kind of too bad. I didn't notice that. Let's kill the Mana Viper. I really want my MP to have step available. Azakubu's armor. What now? Brilliance is an option. I have a couple of those, but I'm not sure what it would be for. I could just draw another card from the deck of defense. Yeah, let's see what we get. Elixir. That's great. I think it's... Uh, so Elixir, depending on like card spell power, will give you like HP or MP uh, every turn for a while. And I think at this power, it's giving me HP. I don't really know exactly. We'll see. At any rate, the Naga Warrior came adjacent, so we can hit him and see what happens. It's not giving me much of anything, honestly. It seems to be giving me magic. There's no way I regained 3 MP in that turn without uh, Elixir. All right, well, we can work with getting more magic. Uh, ice beasts? Sure. Pell missiles, gotta keep that up with all these sharpshooters around. Yeah, they're shooting each other and themselves. That's the main advantage we have against sharpshooters. Feel less mighty now. Uh, address that situation. Well, I was about to just re-might, but we might want to consider like evasive maneuvers, <laughs> right? Uh, this is still a bad spot to be in. Right? Like, I mean, we could step from time. We could do that. We're sort of in a position where stepping from time is something I can afford to try, I think. But it also doesn't feel like it necessarily improves the position. Like right now, I'm feeling kind of okay. Like I'm spending a lot of resources, but I'm keeping afloat. And if I step from time, I could end up in a worse situation.
I think I just want to drink another mite. And I'm not actually that keen on killing the sharpshooters because uh, they are mostly like not hurting me, whereas the warriors mostly are hurting me. Yeah, the sharpshooters are killing themselves. I forgot I have this friendly ice beast there. The, the yellow on green or white on green or whatever it is, is hard for me to see. And I haven't really figured out the right way to reglyph it. Ugh, a guardian serpent, huh? If I could just, like, get to here, right? That's a decent spot to be. But with guardian serpents in the mix, I don't think walking away is ever going to work. I could consider digging southeast. Uh... Well, let's regen right now. All right, the elixir has worn off. I don't know how long ago that happened, but it did. The only thing adjacent to me now is a Naga Sharpshooter, but with Guardian Serpents nearby, that can change at any moment. This Sharpshooter is going to kill himself soon. <laughs> mm. When I have a moment, and indeed it looks like now is an okay moment, I would like to recharge my heal wounds. Yes, yeah, six charges, great. I'm going to make a break for it over in this direction. OK. So we seem to be sort of getting away with it. All right, they finally blinked on top of me. That's fine, I'll just make them go away. That didn't work at all. They're still here. They're still here. Why? Shouldn't they be leaving? I don't understand. I think I want to step here. Because we're close to like survivable terrain, I think. Yeah, let's step again. Great. OK, just the one Naga Mage. That's fine. Uh, I don't want to dig in there or here. Here could be okay. Not really, but it's not that bad. Regen. Oscar's armor. <sighs> All right, we're alive for now. We still have to get to somewhere safe, but right now nobody really knows where we are, and that's an important part of being safe. This is not so great. I'm glad we trained some stealth. While we're dodging one enemy, like there aren't a bunch more getting the idea to come chase us. Ah, no, I walked east. What a fool. It turned out to be fine because my... I didn't mean to. I, I tapped northeast, and then I accidentally also tapped east. Um, but it turned out to be fine because my ice beast killed the monster. That elixir card was a good draw. like I'm relying a lot on my MP. Okay, more problems solved. This part of the level looks safe. Let's get up here. <sighs> okay, 
dig a little. Ah! I thought that was the edge of the map. I was going to dig a little kill hole in there. Okay, let's rest. Whew. Stressful game. It's been a long time since I played Formacid of Kyriados. I did one pretty early on in my career. And then I did one that was the first time I ever tried to get more than three runes, I think. Certainly it was the first time I went into, like, Pandemonium. I think I ended up quitting that game with ten runes. Well, quitting, as in, I, I won. Uh, but I was just, I was too afraid to try Hell or Tomb, I think. And I was just like, there's more runes than I've ever had. Let's cash them in. What happened? I don't know. I cast regen, I cast ice base, and they both worked, but like something gave me a more, and I'm not really sure why. Probably just a lot of different combat stuff happening. Alright, so what we should do next is scout for good places to fight instead of that dumb place we were fighting a minute ago. Uh, and like now that everything in the vault is awake and all over the level. Like, I'm taking it out in small chunks, and being out in the open for small chunks is, like, not the worst thing in the world. It's not ideal, but it's manageable. And eventually, the vault will be emptied. Uh, but for now, let's just mark this all as off-limits. Shock Serpent there. A snake is just hard. If only it were spider, like for a, a Kai worshiper, spider is like a cakewalk because a uh, slouch can kill anything in like one hit, maybe two. Except for the emperor scorpions, I guess. But most monsters go down like just super easy with slouch. Anyway, so uh, it's been a while since I did the Kyriados uh, Formicid. I've only done those two before, plus this one. Um, and I remember it being like so strong and the idea that like you give up on some of your mobility in exchange for like immense power was like fine. Uh, but I just, I feel like this game, it's not fine. Uh, I'm managing, but I'm not feeling good about it. Uh, and so I sort of think that that's because I've since become a better player and learned to better appreciate potion card is fine learn to better appreciate the options that i have uh and so missing them is a bigger deal to me all right so how do we oh my god how do we approach the vault? Like, we dug a little kill hole here, but it's sort of hard to get to. Is there anything closer? Not really. <sighs> um, well, let's, let's come closer and see just how much of this stuff is left. Because a lot of it should be dead now, right? Because it came out and we killed it separately. That's something you can do, actually, uh, on a lot of characters. Um, so, I mean, you don't necessarily want to, but you can. Um, you can, like, go into an end vault like this uh, just to wake everything up and then, like, teleport away so that it all sort of filters out gradually. I'm not sure how often it's a good strategy, but it's like something you can consider. All right. Looks like we're done with Snake. Thank goodness. Not a moment too soon. Let's get out of here. 
we nearly nearly bit the dust again. Whoops, didn't mean to AB, meant to AF, and then press B. Uh, let's just go. There's a lot of snakes here, actually. But uh, we have a perfectly fine kill hole we can use. Anything left? Yeah, just this ritual list. Okay, Whew. man, I, I've only, I think this is like the first episode I've recorded since that last break. I, I don't recall, maybe there was one. But I, I feel like I need a break after that again. At any rate, uh... Hmm, <sighs> jeez. It's exhausting. Uh... We got a rune, great. <laughs> there you go, in case you missed it, we got a rune. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.